This is a QMesher basic tutorial for liquid simulation. In this tutorial, we will make simple flow emitter water shot with secondary particles. So, create and open a QMesher object. And load preset for liquid simulation node set. At first, pick emitter object. And next, adjust cell size to match with the scene scale. At this time, we set 0.25. Delete connector with on-off parameter for emitter. Because we want to generate particles throughout the scene. Pick obstacle objects. And make level set cache node. This node holds the last input grid data and can be reused for the other simulation step. Since the obstacle object does not move, so, it should generate a level set only at frame 0. And next, create a Q direction helper object for emitter flow direction. Because since the overall is slowing down due to processing, check the process only on sim render in the object to level set node. Add simple animation for direction. Activate Emit Direction Connector on Particle Emitter node. Then, create Object node and connect this direction to Emit Direction. And pick Direction Helper Object. Change Emit Intensity to 120 and check Add Emit Velocity. Remove Velocity Channel because emitter and obstacle objects are not moving in this scene. And set time speed FPS to 60 for slight slow motion. Down a little bit about time step sensibility, because this shot particles become move faster. This prevents the movement of the liquid from scattering. Then, set export file. And execute simulation. So, check the result files. It looks good. Now, create new AQ Mesher object for secondary simulation. Create new AQ Mesher and open node graph. And load preset for secondary simulation node set. Pick obstacle objects. Now we create a box object to determine the secondary emit area. The bottom should be placed slightly higher than the floor. The width should also be slightly inward from the wall. Pick this box at the Geometry node.
Check the process only on sim render in the object to level set node to avoid slowdown in the viewport work. Set the base simulation file in the secondary solver node. And set export file for secondary. Here we preview the results of the base simulation to determine the conditions for secondary particles emit. Set the preview color to curvature channel. And set max value to zero. You can now check the area of the number you set for min value. Zero point eight seems good for curvature. And next set color to vorticity. Zero point six seems good for vorticity. And at last set color to velocity. One point five seems good for it. Set each value to secondary emitter node. And little bit down about emit number. Change life and life variation parameter for foam. Emit foam is unchecked, but splash will change to foam. Therefore we get foam at this simulation and change splash life and variation too. Finally, set the cell size to the same value as the cell size of the base simulation. Now execute simulation. So, check the result files. Each of the splash and foam will be output as a separate PRT file. The result looks good. Thank you for watching.